My friends, this is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. And you like my headline? I think we have the snowstorm figured out, hopefully. Um, so that's pretty much going to be our focus here as we go through the live. If you have any questions, just uh, go ahead and let me know. And uh, good morning to a lot of folks. Anna Mitchell, good morning. Um, kind of seems to be an odd little group here, so I'm not so sure this is working properly, but we'll give her a go. Um, so, right now, storm system in the southwest part of the country, and another storm system out to the west, that will kick that storm system out, and that's what will become our weather maker as we head on into the weekend. Okay, so what we're going to start with here is we're going to start with the U.S. model. First, I should tell you the U.S. model and the European model both right in line together now. That's why I think we've got it figured out. Uh, we'll show that to you here in just a moment. And we're going to look at the ensemble of the U.S. model. And that's 31 different iterations of running it. And what I want to show you here is that it's showing you where the center of the storm is. Uh, by the way, the timing on this is a Saturday afternoon, Saturday night snow. But look at when we get to Saturday afternoon, say 1 o'clock or so. All those little circles there. That shows you that the U.S. model, although not exact, it's kind of clustered everything into a storm center coming across southern lower Michigan. And that means the cold side of the storm, the snowstorm side, is in the northwest half of lower Michigan. And then we're at Sunday morning and it's on to the east. All right, so we're going to start to uh, compare here. And we're going to look at the uh, European model first. Okay, so this is, let's go back to Friday afternoon. First off, we've got a great day today. By the way, we also still have uh, a delay of one day on that um, geomagnetic storm, so northern lights possible tonight, and we could have uh, clear skies, so that would be good news. This is Friday evening, the precipitation starting, Friday night, Saturday morning. Uh, let me make sure I got the proper perspective here for you. Sorry. That's better. Nobody's talking to me this morning, so I don't know if this is working properly or not, but I'm going to continue to go. It looks like it is. Okay, so this is Saturday afternoon. Now we're going to compare this. This is the European model, so you can see the rain snow line Saturday afternoon, uh, somewhere from Big Rapids to Mount Pleasant, Midland, and the north side of Bay County. That's the European model. And one in the afternoon Saturday U.S. model, about the same, maybe 10 miles farther north and west. Something like that. So, European, U.S. European model, uh, Saturday evening, 8 o'clock. There's the snow. It's falling good in uh, Big Rapids. It's falling in Houghton Lake and in Tawas and in Alpena. Pretty hard at that point. It's raining in Saginaw, it's raining in Grand Rapids, mixed with snow maybe. Um, it's raining in Flint, it's raining in Detroit, and Ann Arbor, and Lansing, and Jackson also. Here is uh, Saturday night and Sunday morning, Sunday morning European, Sunday morning U.S. model. The U.S. model is usually six hours fast. That's one of its pitfalls that we've found, okay? So, uh, so this is a, a Saturday afternoon into Saturday night uh, snowstorm. All right, now, totals. And remember, I want to remind you that I still think 
the European model has overdoes it. Even out at this time period out, <clears throat> European model is usually a few inches too much on snowfall. And that's the case. But what I want you to focus on is the location. For this one, focus on the location of the heaviest snow. So there you would see it uh, north part of Kent County uh, through Mount Pleasant, uh, northwest half of Midland County, northern part of Bay County, northward into Houghton Lake, Clare, uh, Big Rapids, mm, Gladwin, uh, West Branch, Tawas, Alpena. U.S. model, about the same. Maybe, again, about 10, 20 miles farther to the north. Puts it in Cadillac and Alpena. What about Traverse City? Traverse City, you're probably on the edge of it, and you probably get, you're probably, you know, on the north side of Traverse City, you're probably three or four inches, and in the southern parts of Grand Traverse County, you might be in the five and six. And then finally, the one that I like for you is from the National Weather Service forecast. This is a human-made forecast. And we'll put it so you can kind of see it. Uh, bear in mind, again, those of you in the south, you're not looking at a snowstorm from Saginaw to Flint to the Thumb to Ann Arbor, uh, Jackson, Detroit. You're looking at maybe an inch once it turns over, maybe yeah, probably an inch, but there you see the six to eight inch band. So I've been all along calling this a four to eight inch snow. I still like that idea. Um, the six to eight inch band, um, Big Rapids to Houghton Lake to the northeast corner of Michigan, uh, Grand Rapids, it tapers off rapidly from just north of you of Big Rapids to Grand Rapids is maybe an inch or so. Muskegon, you're also probably in the warm sector, but you're on the close end. Maybe you get one, two, three inches of snow or so. Um, and then you get north to Traverse City, and that's a, it's a four to six inch snow, but probably more on the four, something like that. So there you have it. Let me slide it down for some of you snowmobilers heading north. This is a solid snowmobile snow. And once it's all said and done, it's a Sunday in Houghton Lake. You might be able to snowmobile and you might be definitely able to uh, snowmobile around the Alpena and Oscoda areas by the time we get to Sunday morning. All right, hopefully you all got this. I'm not convinced that it worked properly because I don't see anybody's comments flowing through here, but sometimes they have problems on their end. Uh, thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update. I just gave you a snowstorm update. And we'll continue to update that and fine-tune it a touch. I don't expect a lot of major changes, but, you know, it could always be a 10, 20 mile, 20, 10 or 20-mile tweak northwest or southeast, something like that. I do expect we'll probably have a winter storm watch by probably by this afternoon through the central part of the state. And I'll keep you updated. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa.